Roy recently introduced details about an innovative Dutch device designed to address the global issue of landmines, the mine Kaffen Ball. This wind-propelled tool, capable of detonating landmines as it travels, was invented by industrial designer Masout Hassani. The concept drew inspiration from his early years in Kabul, Afghanistan, where he and his brother played with homemade wind-powered toys in areas plagued by hidden explosives. Afghanistan remains one of the most mine-contaminated nations in the world, with approximately 10 million mines spread over 500 square kilometers. At just 14, Hassani left Afghanistan under clandestine circumstances and later resettled in the Netherlands. There, he pursued a degree in industrial design at the Design Academy Eindhoven, where the mine Kaffen Ball served as his 2011 thesis project. This device stands about as tall and weighs as much as a grown man, making it capable of triggering buried explosives. It consists of a 17-kilogram iron center enveloped by an array of bamboo spokes, each ending in plastic-tipped feet engineered to traverse rugged terrain. As it tumbles forward, powered only by the wind, the ball activates mines and simultaneously maps its journey using an internal GPS tracker. These maps are then made available to communities and mine-clearing organizations, offering valuable insight into affected areas. The bamboo arms are designed for affordability and can be easily replaced when damaged. The public first embraced the project through a 2012 Kickstarter campaign that raised £119,456, significantly more than its £100,000 goal. Following this success, Hassani established the Mine Kaffen Foundation in 2013 in Eindhoven to continue research and expand development efforts. The ball has since been displayed at renowned venues such as MoMA in New York and the Design Museum in London, where it was a 2012 Design of the Year finalist. It also appeared in Tokyo's The Fab Mind exhibition in 2014. With its spiky, spherical design, the ball has been compared to both starbursts and dandelion heads, exemplifying how aesthetics and utility can coexist. A short film directed by Callum Cooper, chronicling the device's development, earned recognition at the Sundance Film Festival in 2013. Despite its compelling design and potential, the device's real-world demoning applications are limited. According to Henk van der Slick of the Dutch Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, the mine Kaffen Ball may be useful for identifying mine zones but poses challenges in terms of retrieval and maintenance once it's been exposed to explosives. To overcome the limitations of the wind-driven ball, Hassani's team has since ventured into drone-based mine detection. They created the Mine Kaffen Drone, MKD, a sophisticated aerial platform that has undergone field trials with the Dutch Ministry of Defense. The MKD conducts mine detection in three steps, first, it produces 3D maps of the terrain, second, it deploys a retractable arm equipped with a metal detector, and finally, it places small charges near identified mines, which are then detonated remotely. By integrating GPS navigation, visual sensors, and onboard computing, the drone significantly reduces the need for human presence in dangerous areas. According to the Mine Kaffen Foundation, their drone can complete mine clearing tasks up to 20 times faster and 200 times more cost effectively than conventional methods involving personnel, dogs, or machinery. The foundation is preparing a major pilot project across 150 square kilometers roughly the size of 37,000 football fields. The operation is divided into two phases, the first employs 10 drones for terrain mapping over two months, the second deploys 50 mine detection drones for six additional months. GPS accuracy and the detection of deeply buried mines remain hurdles, prompting the team to test external antennas and triangulation methods. Plans are also underway to train operators and expand field trials internationally. Two drone models are at the center of this initiative, the MK Destiny, designed for mapping with visual sensors, and the MK Manta, which carries specialized detection equipment. These drones can scan vast areas without direct human intervention. To support this expansion, the Foundation launched another Kickstarter campaign in 2016, raising €177,456, more than double its €70,000 target. Current efforts focus on refining drone performance and building a stable operating infrastructure, including permanent base stations.
landmines continue to pose a severe threat around the globe. An estimated 100 million unexploded mines remain across 60 countries. Data from the United Nations indicates that about 20,000 people are either injured or killed by landmines annually. Of these victims, roughly 79% are civilians, while military personnel make up 18% and professional deminers just 3%. The financial burden of clearing a single mine ranges from $300 to $1,000 and requires significant time and labor. For example, in Mozambique, 171,000 mines laid during civil conflict led to 15,000 deaths. The full clearance process lasted 22 years and concluded in 2015. Over the years, the mine Caffin Ball and Drone have received international accolades. These honors include the Drone Hero Europe Award, 2017, in Brussels, the Accenture Innovation Award, 2017, in Utrecht, and the Perez Heritage Initiative Award, 2017, in Milan. The project also garnered certificates of appreciation from defense exhibitions such as Dimdex 2018 in Doha. It has been shortlisted for numerous design competitions, including the Index Awards in Copenhagen and the Rotterdam Design Preges. The Sundance Festival honored the Mein Kaffin documentary with third place in its Focus Forward section. Additional commendations have come from institutions and events in China, South Africa, and Austria.